Okay, everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel here. Uh, this is our last test for the evening. Uh, the cell has had a chance to cool down. I've added a substantial amount of sodium chloride to increase the conductivity of the electrolyte, and I'm getting about, I want to say, uh, maybe 8 amps at around 40 volts, which is considerably more current than I've been getting uh, with such a low voltage. Obviously, larger plate surface area, smaller gap in between, all of those factors will increase the current on the final version of a 12-volt cell, but for the test purposes, we're, we're gauging the, uh, the actual electrolyte itself and uh, the current being fed through it. So you're seeing this for the first time along with me. The level of the water inside this Aquafina bottle is right about here. There's about that much trap there. The seal around the edge of my tank still needs some work. I'm going to take a piece of of uh, acrylic and I'm going to create a, a flat smooth surface and glue it to the rim so that I can get a, a much better seal. But for the time being you can see the edge of this box right here. This is actually a uh, 300 kVA or 450 kVA uninterruptible power supply which is quite heavy which is the amount of weight that I needed to create a tight seal uh, with the gasket that I have around the, the electrolyzer tank right now so here's my stopwatch I'm gonna turn on the turn on the current and we're gonna see if we can't get some sort of guesstimate as to how many liters per minute that this this cell will generate with the current with the current mixture hopefully I can give you a a camera angle as well. You hear a fan running in the background. That's uh, the cooling fan for the for the electrolyzer tank. And really, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you a good view of that or not. Uh, afraid not. Anyway, here are the results. Uh, on your marks, get set. Whoa! Start my watch. Okay, 10 amps. Take my camera here, get you a better look. The bottle is almost half full. And I forgot to start the damn stopwatch. I'm going to have to do this again. Uh, well, in the short time that you saw it running, we filled the bottle two-thirds of the way. So, maybe you can r crunch some quick numbers, and uh, I'll come back and hopefully give you a more concrete number. Okay, here we go again. On your marks, get set. Crank. There's about 10 amps. Stopwatch is running. Ten seconds. At fifteen seconds, I have two hundred and fifty milliliters. Twenty seconds. Twenty five. Thirty. Let me show you what the tank is doing right now. Quite violent in there. And stop. At 45 seconds, I have exceeded the volume of a 500 milliliter container. So, man, look at that come out. Holy smokes. Don't know what my voltage was. The tank did not seem to get that much hotter. I, I've got a heat sink sitting on the bottom here and a fan blowing on the back through it so it has a pretty good thermal conductivity to the bottom of the tank. Circulation that it creates through the tank is uh, able to dissipate the heat quite readily. Um, I think with just air moving across it if I glue it or put some heat sink compound against it inside the car uh, it should be able to dissipate heat fairly, fairly ra readily. 
So here's the question. Dare I seal this off and try to ignite it? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um... Five hundred milliliters in forty five seconds. So that's a liter every minute and a half. Point six six two thirds of a two thirds of a liter every minute. Yeah. There you have it. Two thirds of a liter every minute with ten amps going into the experimental cell. Quarter inch spacing. Um, don't have the figures for you for the total surface area of the plates and that is with sodium hydroxide as an electrolyte <coughs> lift this transformer off take the cover off allow the hydrogen inside to escape And I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like inside the tank when I crank this puppy up to 10 amps. And that's 10 amps. <coughs> <coughs> now this is what I was talking about. I don't like to see bubbles collecting. I'd rather see the bubbles burst immediately when they hit the surface give up their gas, push it out, do some work with it. <coughs> good for show and tell, not so good for actual productivity. So, there you have it. 